All right, the next thing in our Solar Power 101 is solar panels. Now, solar panels come in all different sizes from 12 volt up to 48 volt systems, okay? Mine are 48 volt. My whole system is 48 volts. So the way these work is when you start building a system, the first thing you got to look at is the voltage that you want to build your whole system. And so it's not just putting 12 volt panels with a 24 volt. Everything needs to match. So these panels, let's take these for example, these eight. These panels are wired, four of them, there's two sets of four there. So four of them are wired in series. What that means is you take this first panel right here. Um, I have from right there, oh, get my finger out of there. So you jump her from hot to cold, positive to negative on each one of these. Okay, so, so let's just take, say, the bottom four. You would say the one over here at this end is going to go all the way up to the combiner box. But the one be the right here between one and two right here, those are wired together. So on the left you have a negative and on the right you have a positive. And then the next one between two and three, same thing, positive to negative. And then between three and four, you have positive to negative. Then on the far right side, you have a jumper that goes all the way back up to the combiner boxes, okay? Now the combiner boxes, they take your series, so basically I have, let me, let me back up a little bit. So we have the first four, the, the lower level here, right? Let's say those are wired in series, okay? Then you have the upper group also wired the same way into the same combiner box. So we have two sets of four wired in series. That's positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, okay? And then they go into the same combiner box. And we'll get into combiner boxes in a minute. But the combiner box will make them parallel. So when you do that, when you wire a solar panel in series, you are adding all of the wattages together and the voltages, okay? So it's, it's basically, when you build a system, you need to know what your charge controller, and we'll get to charge controllers later too, but you need to know your specs of all of your equipment, not just the panels. You, know, you need to know the specs of everything before you start basically wiring stuff. Okay, so my panels, like I said, are all 48 volt. So they're 550 watts each. So that means the amperage I can put on these is pretty high. So if you have that bottom one right there, right, that one puts out 550 watts, that one puts out 550, that one puts out 550 watts, and that one puts out 550 watts, and they are all wired together. They're in series. So that is 2200 watts those four panels can put out in a bright sunny day. Okay. And then the upper one, is the same thing, 2200 watts DC power at 48 volts. So if you were to take 44, tie them together, because you're gonna parallel them together, as soon as you parallel them together, it doubles the wattage, but keeps the voltage down. You're basically cutting the voltage in half by doing that, which is huge when it comes to the charge controller, okay? So, solar panels. Let's wrap this up. Solar panels come in multiple sizes, multiple wattages, and they're just the beginning of your solar system of putting stuff together. I can't say enough. Read the specs on all your equipment. Um, research it, research it, research it. Okay, we're now gonna go to the combiner boxes.